Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Muser, and welcome to day 16 of building a chef website in Adobe Muse. Today we're on uploading to a live server. So I'll click on the day 16 folder here within the course folder. And the files for today, we have Bluehost hosting, we have the chef website completed.muse, and we have the day 16 uploading to a live server.png. So I'll go ahead and click on the PNG file. And today we're going to be getting domain and hosting. We're going to be getting the FTP information for the website, and we're going to enter the FTP information into Adobe Muse. We're also going to visit the website on the live server once we've uploaded it. So I'll go ahead and close the PNG file, and I'll go back to the root of the course folder, and I'll open the website we've been working on here. So I'll click on the chef website starting file dot muse. So I'll double click, and I'll double click on the home page. And here we have the website, it is now completed. So now we're gonna upload it to a live server so it'll be available for anyone to visit. So one hosting provider that I highly recommend is bluehost.com. You might have heard of other hosting providers like GoDaddy and a few others. I highly recommend Bluehost as they have really great customer service. So I'll go back to the day 16 folder and I'll click on this Bluehost hosting text file here. So I'll double click and I'll click on this Bluehost link right in here within the text file. And this will take me directly to Bluehost. So the first thing I wanna do here on Bluehost is click on get started now. So we're gonna get a domain and hosting for the website. And hosting is just server space uh, within Bluehost that allows everyone on the web to access your website. So it's basically like a hard drive on the World Wide Web. So you need space uh, to put your website on so everyone can visit it and that space on the server that Bluehost provides So they have a few different plans here. They have basic plus and prime um, I'd recommend basic if you just want a website for people to visit um, You don't need any real bells and whistles. You just want a, a domain and hosting so your website can go live I'd recommend the basic here and the basic comes with one website It comes with 50 gigabytes of space and that's plenty of space a website the max I want to say a website might come to is maybe 10 megabytes and there's a thousand megabytes and one gigabyte and you have 50 gigabytes of space which is 50,000 megabytes um, and you know unless you have a lot of images on your website I don't think you'd go over 10 megabytes so that's the website space that's plenty of space bandwidth is unmetered performance is standard it includes one domain so a domain name is the name of your website you know dot the extension so my domain name is museforyoushop.com. You know, your domain name would be, you know, my website 123.com or uh, whatever extension you pick for that domain. And for for park domains, you have five, subdomains you have 25, email accounts you have five email accounts, and email storage is 100 megabytes per account. So, if you don't know any of these other terms here, that's okay. The only thing you need to worry about really is, you know, the number of websites, the website space, the uh, subdomains is some is good sometimes if you want to have a subdomain of your website, um, but that's kind of another topic, and I won't really get into the this right now. Um, email accounts that's good to know, so you can have five separate email accounts. So if you're running a small business, you can have different email accounts within the business. And email storage is 100 megabytes, which is pretty good. Um, if you do need to raise this, you can just call Bluehost, and they can help uh, raise the the space there. Uh, per email account, but 100 megabytes is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on select. And here we're gonna enter in the new domain. So you can enter in a new domain, or if you already have an existing domain, you can enter it in here and Bluehost will help you transfer the hosting to this domain. So here in the new domain, I'm gonna type in my website, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can select .com, .online, .site, .website, .space, tech, store, net, org, info, co, us, biz, or club. So you can choose from these different extensions. I'm going to go ahead and click on .com. So I'll have the .com extension. Then I'll click on next. 
and here I can enter in my information. If the domain is not available, Bluehost will let you know and then you can just enter in a new domain. And then right down here we have package information. So here in the account plan, you can choose basic for 36 months, which comes out to $3.95 a month. You can choose for 24 months and that comes out to $4.95 a month. Or you can choose the basic 12 month price and that comes out to $5.95 a month. I'm gonna go ahead and click on basic 12 month price. So the hosting price comes out to $7.140, so it's $5.95 for 12 months. The setup fee is free. The primary domain registration is free. And here we have a few different packages. I recommend domain privacy protection. And if I click on more information, uh, Bluehost gives you more information about what that is. So rather than your personal information appearing in the domain uh, registry, uh, Bluehost kind of adds their own information so you don't get spammed by marketers and your personal information isn't out there for uh, marketers to find and things like that. So I'll go ahead and close this. You can go ahead and check out these other packages. Uh, the only one I recommend is the domain privacy protection, but they do have a few other packages as well. And you can click on more information uh, to find out about those packages. And then the total is right here. And right here you can enter in your payment information. And after you've entered that and check this uh, box here, I have read and agreed to Bluehost Terms of Service, you'll create a username and password to log into Bluehost. I already have a Bluehost account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in to log into the C panel or the control panel. So you can go back to the Bluehost homepage and click on login. So once you've logged in, you'll be in your C panel or control panel. And the only thing we're going to concern ourselves with here is the FTP page. So you can either click on here to go to the FTP page, or if you scroll down to files right here in the file section, you can go to the FTP manager. So I'll go ahead and click on FTP manager. And FTP stands for file transfer protocol, and it allows you to transfer files from your computer to the server, to the Bluehost server, so that your website is accessible uh, by anyone that's on the internet or on the web. So here you can create a new FTP account. You can enter in the login, the domain, and the password for the FTP account. But Bluehost gives you a default username, and the password is the password that you created to log into Bluehost. And that can be found uh, down here in the special FTP accounts. So here I've scrolled down to the special FTP account section and the default username is depicted by this symbol here. It's kind of a symbol of a guy and this is the default username. And you can configure the FTP client. So if I go to the right and I click on configure FTP client and let me go back to the left here. So this is the FTP username. The FTP server is usually ftp.yourdomain.com or ftp.yourdomain. And then we don't need to worry about the port for now because we're not going to get too advanced with the different uh, different ways you can transfer your files to the server. So this is all we need. We need the username, the FTP, and then the domain, and then the password that you use to log into Bluehost. So now that we have all the information, we can upload the website to a live server in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to go back into Adobe Muse. So here we are on the website. So there are a few ways you can upload your website to a live server. You can go to the right here where it says publish in Adobe Muse, click the drop down, and you can select FTP host, business catalyst, or export as HTML. For now, we're gonna upload via the FTP host. You can publish this way, or you can go to file right up here and select upload to FTP host. I'll go ahead and click on upload to FTP host and then I'll click on next. And then here we have the connect to FTP server dialog box. So here for the FTP server, it would be FTP, then your domain. So in, the, in this example, if I were to have purchased my domain 12345, it would be my domain 12345.com. Then the username, you enter the username that's in the FTP manager, and then the password that you use to log into Bluehost. So it would be the password that you created for your Bluehost account. Then you can click on store credentials. And then we have this option section here. So there are a few different methods to upload to the FTP server or to your server. So you can do secure FTP, FTP over SSL TLS, or FTP over SSL 
TLS. So we're not gonna go over this uh, in this tutorial. For now, FTP is okay, and that's usually the default method is uh, FTP. And then for mode, there's a few different modes here as well, but I'm not gonna go into this at the moment. Uh, FTP is okay to upload the website to your server. So after we've done that, you can go ahead and click on next. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my information so we can upload this website to a live server. So after you've entered in your FTP information, you'll want to enter in the site URL. So it would be www.mywebsite12345.com. I'm gonna upload this website to museforyoushop.com. So for me, it's museforyoushop.com. And then I'm gonna place it in a subfolder. So the subfolder is gonna be called Chef Website Demonstration. And then the folder on the server is usually public HTML if you want the website to go in the root folder of your server, and that's public HTML, so that if a user goes to the domain, they'll see the, rep the website right away. If you did want to put it in a subfolder, you would just do slash, uh, then the name of the folder that you want to place the website in. And then when you go to the website, it would be yourwebsite.com slash the folder name. So if you wanted to do a test and you didn't want the user, you know, if your domain is out there and you just want to test without people having to visit your site, you could do public HTML slash test website or something like that. So for me, I'm gonna do public HTML slash muse for you shop because I have a few domains and then I'm gonna enter the folder. The folder for the site is chef website demonstration. So it's gonna be muse for you shop.com slash chef website demonstration. And this folder is gonna match this URL. And if it doesn't match, Muse will let you know. And you can just make sure that this URL matches the folder on the server. And then for upload, you can upload only modified files. If you're uploading the first time, it doesn't really matter if this is only modified files or all files, because all the files will be uploaded to the server. Um, if you did want to, if you already uploaded, but let's say you wanted to re-upload all the files, you could click on all files. For now, I'm just gonna leave like this, only modified files, and then I'll click OK. And Muse will upload the website to the server. I've already uploaded it before to make it this process a bit quicker here, but all the files, you'll see it say, you know, uploading images, uploading the CSS files, and all the files necessary to run the website on the server. So here we have the website live. If we go to the domain, it's museforyoushop.com slash chef website demonstration, uh, slash index.html. You don't really need this index.html. That's just the home page of the website. And uh, by default, the, the home page for usually all websites is index.html. If I were to delete that there and select enter, it would still load the website. So now I can go through the website and it is, it is now live on the server. Anyone can visit this domain and view the website. So it's just that simple. You get domain and hosting. I recommend Bluehost. And then you get the FTP information. You go to file and Muse. You go to file, upload to FTP host. You enter in your username, the FTP account, which is usually FTP, then your domain, and then the password that you use to log into that particular FTP in Bluehost. It's usually the password that you use to log into Bluehost. And that's it, and you can store credentials so you don't always have to keep re-adding that information. So the other ways you can have your website go live on a server is by uploading via Business Catalyst. So I believe when you have a Creative Cloud membership, uh, you get a free Business Catalyst domain. So if I go to File, I can click on Publish to Business Catalyst. I myself don't use Business Catalyst uh, a lot, as I find there's a few limitations when using Business Catalyst hosting. Um, if you just want a simple website, this could work really well. And also there's Business Catalyst at, attached to the domain name. So here you would enter in the site name, you would publish to, you know, new site, you would enter in the URL for your Business Catalyst website and the data center, data center you can say automatic, United States, European Union or Australia. I myself don't work a lot with Business Catalyst, but there are quite a few articles if you did want to upload your website to Business Catalyst. So I'll just go ahead and close this here. And the other way you can export your website, it's not really uploading to a live server. And I went over this in yesterday's video tutorial with the testing tools. 
uh, you can go to file and click on export as HTML. And this just outputs the files for the website and I'll click on next. And then you'll have all the files that you'll need to upload the website to a live server. So if you wanted to export the site as HTML and then use a, an FTP client like FileZilla or an FTP program, you could export it to HTML and then you could drag and drop those files into the directory on your server. You would just have to go into FileZilla, log into your FTP account, then you have access to the directory on your server and you can drag and drop all these files into the directory and then you can go to your domain and the website would be live uh, on the web. So that's another way to do it. If you are viewing your exported HTML files from your computer, I'd recommend a local host program like MAMP, and I do have a video and I'll leave it in the description area below. It creates a local server on your computer that allows the files on your website to be accessed correctly as if it were on a live server. Sometimes when viewing your website from your computer, if it's not on a local host program, sometimes the, the website isn't read correctly. And I do go over that in yesterday's tutorial as well. So MAMP creates a local host server on your computer and Muse has a built-in local host as well. So if you're previewing the website from Muse, all the files will render correctly. And if you have sophisticated code within the site, let's say you add you know, third-party widgets that have a bit more functionality, sometimes they require the website to be on a local host or on a live server. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK here. And it's gonna export all of the files. And you can select what folder you want to export to. And here we have the website. We can see that the file is on the computer. This is a, a folder structure on the computer. And I'll just go to that folder. And I believe that folder is in day 15. Yep, so here it is. So it outputs all the files that you need, the CSS, the fonts, the images, the index.html, the scripts, the muse, the muse manifest, and the sitemap for the site. And this can all be dragged and dropped into the directory via an FTP program like FileZilla. So that is it for uploading the website to a live server. I know I went over a few different ideas there. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comment section below. So I'll go back to the site here. And we are now done with day 16 and uploading the website to a live server. Tomorrow is day 17 and we're going to go over a summary of the course. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.